Well, here's why it's called a transforming star. You want to start to find a spot on here where it wants to slide. You'll start to see the rays of the star come out. I see dragons. We're going to have lots of origami fun today. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your paper special and different than everybody else's. The second thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make four small origami papers out of one big origami paper. Then after that we're going to make what's called a modular origami star using eight small origami papers. Let's do it. I'm going to show you the materials that we're going to use. First I'm putting down one big piece of paper. This could be newspaper or any scrap paper from the recycle so, so I don't color on my table. You'll also need a few pieces of scrap paper. This is some uh, reading stuff that I'm done with. Uh, so I'm going to use that for my origami paper because it's white, has a back side, so it'll be good to color on. I can even color right over the letters, so it won't matter. It'll look interesting when it's all colored and we're done. Speaking of colors, you're going to need some markers or color pencils or crayons, just anything with color. You can even paint it, but you'll have to wait for your painting to dry before you fold it. So I'm going to use markers and color pencils, but you use whatever color things you have. I'll also be using some scissors to make my cutting of my origami paper go faster. What I'd really like for you to remember today is that when you do origami, there's some simple, quick things you can do that can make your origami really special and different than everybody else's. I'm going to color on both sides of my paper with some patterns, and I'm going to do this quickly because I want to get to the folding. Um, but it's going to add some color and some details that really make it uh, stand out from other origami. First I need to turn my papers into squares. If you don't know how to do that yet, when you have a rectangle paper and you need to turn it into a square, uh, go check out my other video called Starting Origami. We've got our two squares here. So now we're ready to color on these and start to make them special. For the star that we're going to make, we're going to want two kinds of paper. So I'm going to make each one of these different from each other. So one's going to have one kind of pattern. There's going to be different colors and a different pattern on the other paper. First thing I like to do is make a border all the way around. Um, this way, when it's all folded up, You'll see this uh, border line kind of going around the paper in interesting ways. And it's always a surprise to see how our paper turns out after we've drawn on it. Um, we'll see how the pattern appears in the finished model. So I go around the edges, and I do this on both sides of both papers. Now we need to fill our papers with a pattern. A pattern just means something that repeats. So a picture that repeats, a shape that repeats, colors that repeat. I'm just going to go in um, and just kind of do some crazy squiggles to start with. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do. Now that one has an orange squiggle all over it. Let's see what happens if I color some of that in. Now that's colored in, and I think I'll add something to the other side and the white parts, but instead of coloring it in, I think I'll add some dots. So this is just a crazy pattern, and I don't know what it's going to look like when it's all folded up and made into a star. It's part of the surprise. We'll find out when it's all done. It'll look really special with all this hand coloring and drawing on it. I think I'll outline just a little bit too. Now we need to go ahead and make a pattern on all the sides of our papers, both sides of both papers. Remember, your paper should be different than everybody else's, so don't make yours match mine. You'll have to think of your own crazy patterns to put all over the papers.
Now I have two big special origami papers. They have colors all over both sides. For the star that I'm going to show you how to make, we need to have eight origami papers. And unless you want to make eight big papers like this, you're going to have to turn these into smaller papers. So I'm going to make each of these into four papers, and then we'll start making the star. So to turn one big origami, origami paper into four papers, you just fold it in a book fold one way, line up your edges, nice, fold it, open it back up, fold it the other way, So if you fold it both ways, you should have a T in the middle of your paper. And then you can very carefully cut that line uh, both ways so that you have four papers left. Do the same with your other paper. Remember, if you don't have scissors, you can fold your paper, crease it hard, Fold it around the other way, crease it hard, and then carefully tear that line where it's creased. So that way, if you're waiting around somewhere, you don't have anything to do, just pull a paper out of the recycle somewhere. You can fold it into a square, no scissors necessary, and you can make it origami anywhere. We have our eight pieces of paper for our modular star. Modular means pieces of the same size that fit together. So like Legos is a modular toy because there's the same size bumps on all of them so they can fit together in lots of different ways. We're going to make eight of this piece and then we're going to fit them together to make a transforming star. Since I made so many different patterns I'm going to turn some of these over and I'm hoping that when I'm done all of my different patterns will show. We'll be careful and make sure that they do. Choose one paper to start with. First thing we're going to do is a book fold. So that means taking two straight sides and bringing them together. So bring one straight side, fold it like a book, over to the other side and line up your edges. Then flatten. Then open it back up again. Next we're going to flip the paper over and do an X fold. I also call that a corner to corner fold both ways. So you're going to bring the top right corner to the bottom left. Line it up and carefully fold it. Then do the opposite, the top left to the bottom right. And open that back up. In this next clip, you're going to see me make a mistake that some of you might run into. And I'm going to show you how to be careful and check that your pattern is going to show when it's done. So watch carefully. We want to turn back over so we're on the side we started with. We're going to fold each top corner into the center. So bring that into the center. And it should line up with a folded line here of your book fold. So make sure this edge is right in line with the center line of your book fold. Bring the other corner down and line it up with this other side here. These should line up nice and come to a point and a straight line here. Fold in half. I notice that this is going to put a different pattern on the outside from the one I started with. So I'm going to back up open these back up, flip it over, then fold those corners in and fold it around. 
That way we'll make sure that we have two that match for every pattern that I made. Now fold these in. Now this has the same pattern. And the last thing we're going to do is there's this point here. You can hold it by the point. And now you'll see there's kind of a tunnel. We want to push in the top of the tunnel and it should fold in right along this line. Push that in until these two sides come into line to a nice point and then flatten. When they get a little bit weird and they don't want to fold on the line, just carefully Try to move the paper till it goes to where it's supposed to go. Just remember the rules of origami that you should line up your edges, try to make it nice before you flatten it. Now I have two that have the same pattern on the outside. As I do the other ones, I'm going to make sure that I have pairs of the other patterns too. So I should have two of that pattern, two of this pattern, and two of this pattern. Go ahead and fold the rest of your pieces. And after you have eight pieces, we can put them together into the star. All right, now we're going to start putting these together. We have two patterns, or two shapes for every pattern. Made sure that they were showing like that. Uh, it's all, also all right if you end up with four shapes for two patterns. We're going to take two pieces, one from uh, each pattern, like that. Put these other ones off to the side for now. Now here's the trick. You're going to have to do this over and over. So you take one and look for the bunny ears. Here's the two ears here. And you're going to take the other one. And this nose is going to go right between the ears here. Put it all the way down. So we'll see this edge lines up in here, it's right between the ears and lining up there. Now we want to fold the tips of the ears over, fold one over, fold the other one over the other way, and then open these ears underneath and put the tip right between there. And this one also right between there. There. Now they don't want to come apart. And this will allow our star to transform when it's done. Now here's the trick. you got to look for those bunny ears. The next one's going to add on. And we want to pick another pattern. Let's go to the next one. We're going to add this one on here. Put the nose between the ears. Line it up fold the ears over and then tuck the ears in. Like that. Now we go to the next pattern. Fold over. them in, pinch it closed, now we're back to the first one again. Repeat that pattern all the way around and then I'll show you what to do when we get to the end. Now we're to the really tricky part, the last piece needs to go in. So instead of putting the nose between these last ears that we put on, you're going to put the ears over this nose. Then with this one, just peel part of it back so that the nose can go in. Now you have two sets of ears to fold over.
Now you're probably wondering, why doesn't that look like a star? You said it was going to be a star. Well, here's why it's called a transforming star. You want to start to find a spot on here where it wants to slide. You'll start to see the rays of the star come out. It might be a little bit tricky at first. It might not want to move. Uh, you'll have to check the ears. You can take an ear out, slide it, and then put the ear back in. That can help. But once it's gone a couple of times, it can go back and forth and transform like that. So just really gently at first, try to find the spot that allows it to move, and then slide it, rotating in each direction. And now you have your completed star with lots of patterns all over both sides. There you go, you know how to make special hand-drawn origami paper, you know how to make lots of origami papers from one origami paper, and if you're very patient, now you know how to make an eight-point transforming star. Hope you had fun with that. Make sure you share it on Schoology with me. See you guys later.